anybody that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone who would like to speak in favor of this request? <clears throat> Please come forward, state your name and address, sir. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, Tom Curry. I reside at 2006 North Patterson Street, Valdosta, Georgia. If I may, I'd like to give this to the clerk. So it's sure. part of the record, please. <clears throat> Bill Holland and I are the applicants. Uh, we represent the owner of the property, uh, the Howard Dasher Company, as well as the developers of the property, Balfour Beatty Communities. Uh, what has been proposed here is a project that has been in the making for this area for over two years. And it's finally coming to the point where it can come to fruition. What's taking place here is, is much needed military housing at Moody Air Force Base, which includes 11 units which will be constructed on base as a part of the, what the developer's project is, which will include what they call prestige housing, uh, much needed housing for uh, visiting dignitaries, generals, um, and also improved housing for those that are in command. Uh, if you've been out there, you can see that um, this is much needed. Now, as far as what's taking place off housing here, um, what makes this unique and, and really works well into the community is the fact that this proposed site here for the off-base housing is eight miles from Moody Air Force Base, located on Valdell Road. <coughs> this site has been approved by the Air Force. Uh, this site is the one that the Air Force um, wishes to have this, this housing constructed upon. And in a moment, I will describe to you what, what's going to take place here. Um, with me this evening is Ron Nestor, who is the Senior Vice President of Balfour Beatty. He's in charge of all of the Air Force portfolio this will be his 21st installation for the United States Air Force that he has developed and manages. Um, what occurs in this situation is that this is what's called a private-public partnership. The, um, while it is there for the benefit of the Air Force, actually Balfour Beatty will own this property, will operate this property, will manage this property, and will develop this property before it does any, any of that with respect to that. However, it will be entering into an agreement with the Air Force whereby it will restrict the use of this housing to Air Force personnel. And this particular project will, in, will involve non-commissioned officers and officers and the like that's there. Uh, there will be restrictive covenants limiting this use to Air Force use. As you look at the site plan, um, this is on one lot. There, this is not a subdivision. Uh, in the first phase, there will be 90 homes uh, with roads built to count county standards, gated community with amenities that are there to support a family-style type environment. Also in your package, you've been given the elevations of the buildings that are going to be built, and you can see that it is very, very attractive housing and part of that. Now, there is the potential of a phase two development that um, the Balfour Beatty has an option to purchase the property of Phase 2, which shown also on your site plan, but that's not part of this zoning request. As it sits here now, between what the zoning request is and the closest neighborhood, there's approximately 60 acres of land between, between that property line and where that <coughs> neighborhood is. Now, this has been approved by the Air Force for the housing. The application indicates that the rezoning request is consistent with the comprehensive plan, and that's been the finding of the, of the uh, technical review committee as well as the planning commission. Um, it meets the development standards for what is being planned here as far as the, the PD zoning, and under the, um, uh, it also meets what your objectives are for land use planning and goals associ associated with that. Now, there have been some issues or, and some questions from Professor Knoll with, with Valdosta State. Um, I've had some very good conversations with him concerning what we would call the geotechnical issues associated with property, specifically the concern of sinkholes or the fact that sinkholes may occur in the future. 
Um, phase two does have a sinkhole, but also let it be known that there have been geological tests taken in connection with this, and you can even look on the site plan at the top part of it. There's an area of geo there's an area of geotechnical concern that has been identified by the developer, and there will be no structures put on there. Um, there is an environmental assessment of 176 pages that's in draft form. Uh, you. Um, your planner has a copy of that, and it was published in the newspaper, and based upon that, it was a finding that there was no significant impact as a result of the environmental assessment and finding of no practical alternative to where this, where this thing is. And where the no practical alternative came in, and when you look at the executive summary, the basis for that was is that this is a site that has been approved by the Air Force and no other site has been approved for this purpose whatsoever. That's there. Now, just in, in conclusion, um, this is much needed for Moody Air Force Base. It's very <coughs> well done housing, very low density associated with the amount of acreage that's being done. And one of the reason we, we are sitting here today is that the Air Force's fiscal year is ending uh, this money has been appropriated for this project and for this development, and um, we have to close by the end of September. Otherwise, we will go into the new fiscal year and more likely than not, giving sequestration, the funding for this project will go away. Um, Moody Air Force Base is important. Uh, we have another BRAC commission coming up. Uh, this is an opportunity for this community to show support for the United States Air Force and the opportunity to really improve the quality of life of the type of housing that's being done. Um, here to answer any questions, or if you have any questions of Mr. Nestor, please uh, let me know. Commissioner, do we have any questions for Mr. Curry? Mr. Chairman, um, I have a question. You mentioned that this is limited to Air Force use only. What would happen if the base closes in the future? What would happen to this housing? Could it be open to the public? Yeah, what, what, what occurs, and, and with us also this evening is Mr. Scott Rafshoon. He is actually the attorney who represents the uh, developer, and he will talk to you about the waterfall that will take place associated with this project, and also the fact that this project will, will be owned by the Air Force after 50 years. That's part of, the, part of what we think is going to take place here. But if you'll go ahead, Scott, can you answer that question? Uh, please come forward, sir. <laughs> State your name and your address. 